sorry about my attire. We decided to get up very early this morning. And by we, I, I mean the baby. So I love watching these videos to find out what everyone else is feeding their babies because it's so hard to think of ideas. So I thought this week we'd do a kind of diary about what things Josh is eating regularly, now he's eight months old, and what things he's enjoying. So we're starting off with our breakfast. We have this most days. It's um, like a baby cereal, and we mix it with whatever fruit we've got. Sometimes it's fresh fruit that we've got lying around, like banana or mango or something. And then we always have some frozen fruit in the freezer too. So on days when I'm lazy, I don't have anything. Like today, we've just got some frozen raspberries that I defrosted. It's your favorite, isn't it? Come on. Yum. Oh, oh God, almost lost the bowl. When he really likes something, he does get quite scary. If I don't feed him fast enough, he'll cry and reach out and knock the bowl out of my hand. So I have to really focus and feed quickly. If he's still hungry after his porridge, which he often is, I'll give him some fruit so he can practice eating with his fingers. So we often have banana, which he loves, and he's really into orange slices at the moment. Another breakfast we've been enjoying is chia seed pancakes. It's just chia seeds and I put in some mashed banana as well, and some flour and milk and just mix it all up. Egg's been giving him a bit of a rash, so this is really good, he can still have his pancakes, often two at a time. And the chia seeds act as like a binding ingredient instead of the egg. He's got a bit of banana here as well. It's a favourite. Most breakfasts involve bananas. We go through a lot in our house, as mummy and daddy like them too. And there's Jinky waiting patiently for his breakfast. I also gave him some of this yogurt and fruit pouch as well. So for our lunch, I'm defrosting some quinoa that I made a week or so ago. These Tupperwares are amazing. I end up just batch cooking a lot of stuff, like quinoa, pasta, shepherd's pie. And then I've got like 10 of these in my freezer. I'm almost out. I'm going to have to do more cooking. <laughs> I'm just steaming some vegetables to go with it while Josh plays in his bouncer. So this quinoa dish has been a real favourite of his, he's had it quite a few times. I think I've got a short if you're interested in how to make it. It's basically lots and lots of different vegetables like um, courgette, carrot, sweet potato, cut up into really small bits and then mixed with cooked quinoa, a bit of passata. I also steamed some pepper and carrot I think there in sticks for him to eat. Um, he wasn't quite as keen on these, he sort of just chewed them a bit and then gave up. But having a steamer is so useful, it means it just, you just bung them in there and then they're done in 10 minutes and you don't have to do anything else, so keep an eye on it. So it's 5.30 and Josh is about to have his dinner. So he's about to have some pizza and some vegetables. Um, I made the pizza yesterday and then popped it in the fridge. We've only had this one a couple of times, but it went down really well. Again, I think I've got a short on how he made it. It's sourdough bread, toasted and cut into strips. And then I make the tomato sauce with tomato puree, passata, some garlic granules and oregano. And then you just chop up some vegetables and put them on top with some grated mozzarella. Seems to be the situation whenever we have broccoli. <laughs> and then he rubs his eyes and it goes all in his eyes. Does anyone else have this issue? I know. It's a bit of a problem. You eat that pepper. He had some oranges and strawberries to use up, so we've just given those for pudding. They are a little covered in broccoli now. He likes to mix it up and go back to the broccoli and then the strawberry. Pasta today, and I don't know about you, but I think this may be the messiest meal of all time. Try to get him to use a spoon but he just throws it on the floor and screams. Um, so we've gone back to using our hands. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, it's gonna be a messy one. I end up just putting it on the tray. I was using like these little fancy suction plates with dividers, but it just ended up getting caught between the plate and the tray and making a bigger mess than if I just had it on the tray. It's easier for him to scoop out. So we just got some pasta with some salmon and some chopped up veg um, and then some courgette sticks that have been steamed. It seems like all babies love pasta. Everyone I've spoken to with a baby says it's their favourite and he definitely loves this. 
I've had it quite a few times now, and he just shoves it in his mouth like there's no tomorrow. It does end up sort of spreading all over his tray. He hasn't quite mastered eating it yet. Um, but he's doing a lot better now with his fingers than he was doing with the spoon, so that's good. He's also decided now that he likes courgettes, which is great news because we had to give it about five or six times before he decided that he actually did like it. So it just shows if you try food a lot, eventually your baby will like it. He's starting to learn to pick bits out of his own bib, but this does seem to be mainly my job at the moment. Yeah. Maybe get the tray a bit closer to you. There you go. It's easy for you to grab now, isn't it? I do and usually end up helping him eat the last few bits because once there's not very much left, he finds it hard to pick up. So I feed him like an animal at the farm. And he loved this. He pretty much finished the whole thing. When he was done, the tray was empty and I had to keep emptying his bib as well. And that was empty too. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I think we'll do one of these videos every week of different foods that he's enjoying. So I hope to see you again soon. Bye.